So my name is Harvey Kennedy Pitt and I'm an independent public health consultant um, uh, through Unstuck Consulting. I'm also the CEO and founding director of Black Beetle Health. And Black Beetle Health is a Manchester-based uh, organisation that supports uh, LGBTQ plus people from racially minoritised backgrounds um, across sexual health, mental health, chronic conditions and reproductive health. So we know that there are really unique challenges with LGBT people of colour who uh, you know, want to get into, into, into sport, into moving, into be more active. Um, it's just barriers around inclusion or really understanding uh, the signposting element of where to go if they want to get involved in things. Uh, and I think my role sort of uh, within the charity is certainly to, to raise the profile of LGBT people of colour, their needs, and then try to sort of align some pathways and, and, and sort of... Uh, connect uh, people in a way that enables them to know what to do to take that action, to, to be more active and, and to get moving. Um, a good example is swimming, you know, uh, something I've flagged uh, in previous meetings is that, you know, historically, uh, our relationship with swimming isn't great, particularly um, when it comes to people from African Caribbean backgrounds or you know black or, or people of colour backgrounds. It, it's not something that is, is something that we're raised necessarily doing. I think you're quite lucky if you get a chance to sort of get into swimming. And so, um, as an example, lots of really great work has been done um, by Swim England as a result of, of, of their partnership with with GM Moving to really encourage uh, some work that will help us to understand, but also create more pathways to get people from those backgrounds active. Um, even in the pool. Yeah, I think when we talk about the mental health and well-being elements of things, um, certainly when it comes to anxiety, depression and, and other sort of related um, conditions, um, sometimes dealing with that on a long term, we know can can be quite uh, overbearing, you know, sort of quite burdensome for, for, for members of our community. Um, we know that being active has a you know, a primary role, it has a really key role in helping people to overcome some of the barriers associated with those, those, those conditions. Um, uh, and therefore, if they're not being active, we know that they're unfortunately not tapping into um, you know this this bit of gold you know this this gateway to, to sort of almost social um, uh, and mental and physical and spiritual connections and you know that they it could really help to improve their their circumstances so um, I think that when it comes to the people that we work with we would like to be able to confidently uh, signpost people into sort of active activities you know uh, where they can get together with other people they can make connections they can almost fulfill those five uh, you know ways to well-being that we sort of promote in other areas um, it definitely applies to, to the people that we work with as well. I think when we look at some of the research that's available, um, certainly themes along connection, you know, the along the lines of belonging, uh, certainly continually and consistently emerge. And I think that when it comes to barriers around race, around discrimination, around stigma, oftentimes people can feel that feeling of exclusion, and so they don't get a chance to sort of maybe get involved in the way they'd like to. Um, additional socioeconomic barriers exist as well. Uh, you know, if they want to join a cycling club, but they their barrier is being able to buy a, a bicycle to then go and join that club, that can be a, a barrier that if it's highlighted or flagged with people who do have uh, the resources to support with that, um, they can end up getting into, and they are, by they I mean LGBT people of colour can get into those activities and, and begin to connect and belong and, um, uh, and be a part of what's going on. Um, certainly around things like badminton, tennis, uh, you know, rock climbing, uh, you know, cross country, there's, there's loads of other activities that people might want to get into, but um, there isn't that... Um, I guess leisure element of it, it's quite a competitive element and for some people that can be quite intimidating and that can serve as a barrier to people getting active. Um, if we really and truly understood how important it is for, for us to be active, uh, for us to be involved in activities like sport, um, I think that we can do a lot more together to ensure that those who are um, suffering the greatest barriers to getting involved in sport can be involved and, and reap the benefits.